I was born extremely timid and shy. I was terrified to speak to people. Um, I had a fear that if I began to speak to people and they found out what I was like as a person, they wouldn't like me anymore. So when I was with people, I would just agree with whatever they said. I never had a backbone to have my own opinion or my own thoughts. And that really began to be a plague because if I was with one friend and I would say one thing and then another friend another, then I'd be worried that if they came together, what would I do or what would I say? And it just brought on a whole, a whole lot of worry and fear and also just that I knew I was saying things that I didn't really personally feel, but uh, I was just so afraid, you know, that if I didn't agree with this person, they wouldn't want to be my friend anymore. And um, over time now, I've, I, I remember when I, I just got this longing in my heart that I needed to be free. And, and then um, that verse came to me where God, uh, he, it's written there that um, I have fearfully and wonderfully made you. And then it came so living to me that God has made me who I am. And he wants to use me to be a blessing and a help to those around me. And if I'm not being myself, then how can I be that blessing and that help? And so I really began to work with, work with myself. I really took up a fight in that area. And I, I learned to just go out and speak with people. I learned to be myself, be who I am. And it was amazing, um, the burden that lifted off of me. I, um, you know, now I can sit in a crowd and if I find something funny, I can laugh about it. I don't have to look first to see, is anybody else laughing? Or if um, someone asks me, you know, what do you think of this? I, I'm free to say what I really think of it instead of first thinking, well, what are they going to think about me? Will they like me? Should I say this? Should I say that? It's just, it brings such a release and such a happiness to life. And um, I'm so thankful for that because uh, it's really a plague to be bound by fear of man and be you just confine yourself to this little ball and it causes so much worry and unrest within yourself. But now I am who I am and I, I, I experience life so full of joy and I'm, I'm a fun loving person so I, it's so good just to be able to be free to be who I am. And uh, of course I have many wonderful friends. Um, you know, I, I found out that people love to be with someone who's themselves. And, uh, and in that, I believe that God then is able to use me to be a blessing where he can. And I, I'm so thankful that I've experienced and tasted freedom in that area to the degree I have.